This is the product. It has two wheels and an axle. I have a machine here which produces the, this product very fast. My only job is to keep producing. But you have to produce quality products. And for that, there is a critical parameter. That is the distance between the wheels, which we measure using a vernier caliper. The nominal value for this has been given to us as 6.5 centimeters. But there has to be a manufacturing tolerance. Yeah, the manufacturing tolerance is 0 0.5 plus or minus 0 0.5 centimeters. This is great. That means my upper specification limit is 7.0 centimeter and the lower specification limit is 6.0 centimeter. Uh, does that mean I can produce anywhere between 6 or 7 centimeters? Yes, you can. But how do we check the quality? And who will check the quality? Are we talking about who checks the quality? The quality is built at source, right where the part is produced. So that's where the quality needs to be determined, confirmed and validated. Now, who is responsible for quality? It is not the quality department, it's not the QC. It is the person who is making the parts right at the machine. So that is the person who is responsible for the quality. So now, the person who is running the machine, who is in charge of the process, need to have a simple tool that can help the person, the operator who is running the process, so that the person can verify whether the parts that have been produced by the machine, which this person is in charge of, is good or bad. Let me suggest a tool to you. It's called pre-control chart. Very simple to use, very practical. So how do you use that tool? Step 1. Draw the pre-control chart. This is a tolerance of 1 cm. We divide it into 4 equal parts. So when we make the chart, it looks something like this. This is our tolerance and it is divided in 4 equal parts. The outer parts are yellow in color and these two are green. Anything outside this is red and it is totally unacceptable. Wow, this is very easy to understand. Let me start my machine. The second step is to use the pre-control charts. Can you help me out? Yes. So now that your production has started, pick a sample of two pieces. But remember, the two pieces must be consecutive. And measure it using a vernier caliper. This is 6.5. Okay. And this one 6.6. .6. Okay. So now that the two readings are in the green zone, we know that we can continue the production. Now my bin is full. I have to check the quality now. Yes, you need to check the last sample. Yeah, so I take two pieces and check them again. So this one 6.6 .6 and this one is 6.8. Oh, so now one is in the green zone and one is in the yellow zone. That means that you can still continue the production. Okay, great. So I give this bin to Shubhangi. Thank you, Amrisha. And this is good quality. Now I continue production and bring the second bin. I will draw the sample when the bin is filled. So these are the last two pieces. This one is 6.8. Okay. 
and this one 6.1 okay so now that the two readings lie in the yellow zone we need to stop and reset the machine it is important that you stop and reset even though both are in the acceptable region of yellow because if both are in yellow they suggest that the machine is all set to go out of order since we got yellow yellow this bin will be redrawn and 100% sorting of this bin will be done okay amrisha i will reset the machine so that it does not produce any more defectives so for other possible combination yellow yellow no even if we are getting only one red or two red just stop the machine and reset it rest everything is good to go so does that mean that there is no work for the quality person you are right niyati we found a new job for you but i am very proud that i can make quality products and sustain them myself good job Hey Christy. Hey. Again. You have always been using acceptance sampling or lot by off. Now that you know the pre-control chart, have you been able to use it? Yes. Like you said, in the past we used the lot by off. It's accumulating certain amount of component, but if any defect comes out, it will become a big cause of quality. It is a lagging indicator, but when we apply this pre-control chart, it is a helpful prevention tool. It helps us to hourly keep track the machine status, shrink the size into smaller hourly by our monitoring. If any defect, we can have limited cost of quality. It is really helpful. Thank you, Dr. Ji. Great, wonderful. Thank you. Happy to hear that. Yeah. we could have used an x bar or r chart in the old days but no less than dorian shinin the great quality guru ensures and assures us that statistically the pre control chart is as reliable as control chart and this method of using the pre control chart and empowering the person who's running the process to be able to check quality at source prevents any kinds of defect from flowing into the next process and in this way we are going to have a reliable process right at source reliable parts and therefore taking away all the reworks and also all the other non value added activities